See, till now we have done problems where f of x is having one value, but here f of x has two values. Dear students, here we have pi minus 2x, here we have pi minus 2x, here we have 2x tends to pi. Bring it to LHS. Extends to a minus f of x. Limit extends to a minus means limit extends to a minus means choose the function when x is less than a. Our left-handed limit is different. Right-handed limit is different. When LHL and RHL are different, limit does not exist. So whenever function is having more than one value, you should apply find LHN RHL. Welcome to the session, dear students. Today we'll continue with the limits x is 13.1. So limit x tends to 90 degrees, that is pi by 2. They give tan 2x divided by x minus pi by 2. See here, you can see we can write allied angle format. All of you know tan of 90 minus theta gives you cot theta. And tan of 180 minus theta, tan of uh, 180 minus theta, because here we can see pi. So we use allied angle, tan of pi minus theta. What is tan of pi minus theta? Minus tan theta. For 180 function does not change. And 180 minus theta lies in second quadrant, I allied angle. So tan of 180 minus theta is minus tan theta. So here, I will introduce minus for numerator and denominator. Limit extends to pi by 2, let it be. So I will write minus tan 2x divided by, in denominator also I will write minus x minus pi by 2. Further, we have limit extends to pi by 2 minus tan 2x, tan 2x can be written as tan of, okay, tan 2x divided by, so in denominator, whatever we have, minus, if I take inside, become pi by 2 minus x. So further, limit extends to pi by 2 minus, minus tan 2x can be written as tan of 180 minus x. I can write the numerator as, I can write the numerator as tan of 180 pi minus 2x. Denominator, if I take LCM, 2 is the LCM, it will become pi minus 2x. Now, 2 goes to numerator. So, limit here also tends to pi. Say, dear students, if x, is, x tends to pi by 2, 2 you can transfer this side. So, 2x tends to pi or multiply 2 on both sides. So, now this denominator 2, I will take it up. So, it will become tan of pi minus 2x divided by pi minus 2x. Dear students, here we have pi minus 2x, here we have pi minus 2x, here we have 2x tends to pi. Bring it to LHS or here separately I will write 2x tends to pi. Bring pi to LHS. So 2x minus pi tends to 0. Multiply minus on both sides. So it will become pi minus 2x tends to 0. So now we can write the given problem as limit pi minus 2x tends to 0 to tan of pi minus 2x divided by pi minus 2x. Now 2 is a constant, take it out. Then you will have limit of pi minus 2x tends to 0. So tan of pi minus 2x divided by pi minus 2x. Now it is in the form limit theta tends to 0 tan theta by theta. Limit theta tends to 0 tan theta by theta is what? 1. So by sandwich theorem 2 into 1 is 1. All of you know sandwich theorem. What is sandwich theorem? So from that we derived for tan also. Limit x tends to 0 tan x by x is what? 1. Means if this and this and this are same, answer is 1. Same thing happens here. Limit x tends to 0 f of x and limit x tends to 1 f of x. We need to find where f of x is having two values. See till now we have done problems where f of x is having one value, but here f of x has two values. When x is less than or equal to 0, you should choose the first function. When x is greater than 0, you should choose this function. So now we will take the first one, limit x tends to 0 f of x. Dear students, x tends to 0 means 0 less than or equal to 0, you should choose this function. So now f of x. I should choose limit x tends to 0. f of x is when x is less than 0 or equal to 0, the function is 2x plus 3. Now, in the place of f of x, put 2x plus 3. Now, limit x tends to 0 means in the place of x, put 0, 2 into 0 plus 3, it will become 3. The next one, limit x tends to 1 f of x. What is meant by limit x tends to 1 f of x? So, when x is 1, 1 means what? x is greater than 0. So, when x is greater than 0, the function is 
3 into x plus 1. So limit x tends to 1, choose the function. 1 we have 1 means what greater than 0 and greater than x is greater than 0 the function is 3 into x plus 1 so now in the place of x put 1 so it will become 3 into 1 plus 1 that is 3 into 2 3 2 is 6 6 is the answer here important thing is choosing the function when limit x is tending to 0 f of x means x value is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 or less than 0 the function is 2x plus 3 second one when x is greater than 0 when x is greater than 0 the function is 3 into x plus 1 substitute will get the value next we have limit x tends to 1 f of x when f of x is x square minus 1 when x less than or equal to 1 minus x square minus 1 when x is greater than 1 two values so whenever they give two values at one it is having two values greater than one and less than one so we will have lhl and rhl first we should find lhl lhl means what left handed limit what is the lhl left handed limit how to find left handed limit so we will find left handed limit left handed limit means what limit extends to one minus f of x so limit extends to 1 minus means it is same as it is same as limit extends to 1. 1 minus means same as 1 but choose the function when x is less than 1. When x is less than 1 the function is this. When x is less than 1 they give x square minus 1. Now apply x tends to 1. In the place of x put 1 so it become 1 square minus 1 it is 0. You got LHL. You got what LHL? LHL means what? Left handed limit. What is the formula for LHL? So we got LHL value as 0 now. So LHL means limit extends to a minus f of x. Limit extends to a minus means limit extends to a minus means choose the function when x is less than a. Now we will go to RHL, right handed limit. What is right handed limit? Limit extends to 1 plus f of x. 1 plus f of x. What is meant by limit extends to 1 plus f of x? It is same as limit extends to 1. But plus means choose the function when x is greater than 1. When x is greater than 1, function is minus x square minus 1 minus x square minus 1 now in the place of x put 1 so minus 1 square minus 1 that is minus 1 minus 1 that is minus 2 now you got rhl what is rhl value rhl is minus 2 here lhl is not equal to rhl lhl is 0 but rhl is 1 so lhl and rhl are not same so therefore limit does not exist so therefore limit extends to 1 f of x for this function does not exist See, if LHL and RHL are not same, we say function does not exist. Here limit does not exist because LHL when you do, you will get 0. But RHL if you do, you will get minus 2. They are not same. So, if function is having more than one value, then you should find left handed limit and right handed limit. If left handed limit and right handed limit both are same, then limit exists and that is a value. But here left handed limit is different, right handed limit is different. When LHL and RHL are different, limit does not exist. Next, limit extends 0 f of x where f of x is mod x by x when x is not 0, x is 0. So they want at 0. So now LHL means limit extends to 0 minus f of x means what? Limit extends to 0 when x is less than 0. Less than 0 means mod x by x. That is one we say signum function. So when x is less than 0, when x is less than 0 means any negative value, modulus of negative value divided by, see modulus of negative becomes what? This will become minus x. Substitute, so I will take uh, 0, near to 0, left hand limit, I will take say 0 point, little less than 0, little less than 0, minus 0 0.01. So minus 0 0.01, modulus divided by minus 0 0.01, it will become minus 1. So LHL gives minus 1. RHL gives 1, RHL gives 1, so therefore LHL, RHL both are not same. Then same technique you can apply to get the answer for this. Limit extends to 0, f of x, f of x is x by mod x and here LHL will not be equal to RHL, therefore limit does not exist. How is it? Let me prove this. So now they told f of x, f of x is having x by mod x when x not 0 and 0 when x 0 they told. So x will take up 3 values, 1 less than 0. See so when x is less than 0 means negative, x by mod x 
becomes this is negative value this is mod minus k will become minus k divided by k that is minus 1. So when x is less than 0 the functional value is minus 1. Similarly when x is greater than 0 so x will take some positive value then I will get k by mod k. k by mod k means k by modulus of k is always modulus of a positive number is positive. So f of x becomes 1 when x is greater than 0 and x is 0 they gave 0. So dear students x by mod x is the value when x is not 0. x is not 0 means what x may be less than 0 or greater than 0. When less than 0 it will be exactly minus 1 and when it is greater than 0 it will become 1. So minus k by k cancels it will be minus 1 k k cancels. So therefore now you go for LHL. What is meant by LHL left handed limit that is limit extends to 0 minus f of x. What is the meaning of 0 minus f of x? Limit extends to 0 choose the function when x is less than 0. When x is less than 0 the function value is minus 1. So limit extends to 0 minus 1 means minus 1 this is LHL. Now go to find RHL. What is right handed limit? Right handed limit means limit extends to 0 plus f of x. It is same as what limit extends to 0. Choose the function when x is greater than 0. When x is greater than 0, the functional value is 1. So, limit extends to 0 in, in 0, 1 means in the place of x, put 0. We don't have x, so it will be limit of constant is constant. So, you got RHL 1. So, very clear LHL value and RHL value are not same. So, when LHL and RHL are not same, then limit does not exist. So, therefore, the conclusion is what limit does not exist. So very important. So in today's class we have done problems where function will have more than one value. Just let me summarize that. So let me summarize. So if function is having more than one value, say function is having say g of x when x is less than a and g h of x when x is greater than a, f of x when x is equal to a. Function is having three values. Then if you want to, to find to find what uh, limit extends to a extends to a what is the method first we should find left handed limit first you should find what left handed limit means you should find l limit extends to a minus what is the meaning of extends to a minus it is same as limit extends to a a minus is same as x tends to what? A minus means choose the function when x is less than a. When x is less than a function is g of x. Now that will become g of a. Now go to right handed limit RHL. Right handed limit means what? Limit x tends to a plus f of x. Means what? It is same as limit x tends to a. Choose the function when x is greater than a. When x is greater than a that is h of x. So it will become h of a. So now LHL value. Uh, see, see, suppose, so like this you should find LHL and RHL. So if whatever you got G of A and H of A should be same. That is if LHL value is equal to RHL, then limit exists. Then limit exists. Any one you can take because both are same. And equal to what? Either you can take G of A or you can take H of A because both are equal. If suppose if you get LHL and RHL not equal, then limit does not exist. That's what happened in this case. Here LHL is minus 1, RHL is 1, so limit does not exist. So I hope all of you understood this. Today we have done problems where function is having more than one value. So whenever function is having more than one value, you should apply find LHL and RHL. Thanks for attending the session. I will see you in my next session. Thank you.